Hey guys, Master of 78 here. A uh, quick update. I know in my last review, I said I was going to review Mrs. Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children, but I didn't get a chance to see it. Yeah, so unfortunately, that review has been canceled. However, you are getting a real review today. So enjoy this real review of Marvel's new cinematic masterpiece, Doctor Strange. And now, our feature presentation. Roshi's Real Reviews Oh great wise one, I have traveled many a distance to come find you. I need you to teach me the secret to jumping between dimensions. Jumping between dimensions I cannot teach you. But dimensions of the mind, that is a different story. Uh, no thanks. I think I'll just go find someone else. Okay. You don't know how much I spent getting here. So please, do you know how to jump between dimensions? Jump between dimensions? I can. No. But use the force? I can teach you. Yes? Oh, I already know how to use the force. Isn't there anybody who can teach me how to jump between dimensions? Ah! Yes, if you couldn't tell, the movie I'm looking at today is Doctor Strange, Marvel's newest addition to the cinematic universe. In the comic books, Doctor Strange is one of Marvel's most powerful heroes, so it's very refreshing to see him get a screen adaptation. And of course, Doctor Strange can only be played by the wonderful, the magnificent, the powerful, the pleasurable... Ex-Benedict. Benedict Cumberbatch. <laughs> yeah. So, the question is, just how strange is Doctor Strange? Well, that depends. Do you believe everything you know? Do you know everything you believe? Forget everything you know, forget everything you believe, and just sit down. So the movie starts out with a man named Stephen Strange, an acclaimed neurosurgeon who loses the use of his hands in a freak car accident. Fellow surgeon and former lover Christine Palmer tries to help him move on, but Strange, believing he can regain the use of his hands, instead uses all of his resources pursuing experimental surgeries in vain. But after hearing that a former patient, Jonathan Pangborn, has mysteriously gained the use of his legs again, he confronts Painborn and asks how he did it. Painborn directs him to a place called Kamontage. There, Strange seeks out one that is known as the Ancient One. The Ancient One shows Strange her power, revealing the astral plane and other dimensions such as the Mirror Dimension. Strange begs her to teach him, and she eventually agrees despite his arrogance. So for the rest of the movie, Strange is learning the ways of magic and dimensional rifts. Meanwhile, an evil sorcerer named Cassilis, or Caselis, or I, I don't know how you pronounce it, is trying to summon a portal to the dark dimension where he can summon the evil and powerful Dormammu to plunge the world into darkness. Seriously, what's with all these Marvel villains and plunging the world into darkness? And it's up to the newly powerful Doctor Strange to protect the three sanctions and stop Dormammu from entering the real world. So, what does the mind of Roshi think of this movie? Once again, Marvel has done it. They have made an idea fresh and very, very inviting. Doctor Strange is not like other Marvel movies. It is a trip. No, I mean literally. It's a literal trip. From beginning to end, you are immersed into this guy's world. You are immersed into other worlds. And throughout all of this, your mind is questioning what's real and what isn't. This movie has a lot going for it. It has a lot of great acting a lot of great story, and great characters to match. But the best part of the movie is, of course, the visual effects. I think this movie has the best visual effects out of any Marvel movie. All the dimensional rifts and all the magic is just so freaking eye-popping. If you see this movie for anything, at least see it for the groundbreaking effects. I didn't get a chance to see it in 3D, but I really wish I did because if any movie deserves a 3D showing, it's this. 
Doctor Strange has always been considered one of Marvel's most powerful heroes, and here's hoping that Doctor Strange will return in a future Marvel movie sometime soon. Roshi gives Doctor Strange a 7 out of 10. Okay, okay, okay. After watching Doctor Strange, I think I have this dimensional magic down. Especially since I got a spell off the internet. Let's see. Higitus, figitus, figitus, goal. Prestidigitonium! Okay, okay, okay. Uh, that was scary. Where am I? Woo! Polynesia! Looks like Roshi's going on vacation! <laughs> Beaches, barbecues, and bikinis! Bring it on, baby! Next time, Moana. Oh, I thought I was going on vacation! Don't cry, Roshi. It's a Disney movie. Woo! Disney movie in Polynesia! 